day. My name is Dr. John Dombrowski. I want to talk to you today about office-based sedation. I'm an anesthesiologist. I do office-based sedation. I think the questions you need to ask yourself are twofold. Number one is, is my practitioner that I'm going to go see, whether he's a dentist or any type of physician, is he ready for me to be sedated in their office? Always ask questions. I find it so funny that patients automatically assume everything will be cared for them in the right way. And you know what? Sometimes that just doesn't occur. As an anesthesiologist, we understand what the value is of the medications that we use when we anesthetize somebody. But even before we even get to that point, we want to make sure you're the best candidate possible, that you're being cared for in the right setting, that your surgeon or dentist has the right game plan for you, and more importantly, do we have a way of taking care of you postoperatively? These are all great questions. It's just not about who's providing you anesthesia. The questions you have to ask is, are you ready for your, your surgery preoperatively? Again, when you go to an office-based setting, you want to know, how long will I be here? What is the pain involved? What is the procedure? Those are all really important questions because then it tells me what type of anesthesia would be the best to care for you in an office-based setting. Now, obviously, when you get it in an office space uh, setting, you want to have the same monitoring equipment as you do in an operating room anywhere in the United States of America. You want to have the ability to have suction, oxygen, rescue equipment such as uh, CPR, a defibrillator, a crash car, all those things. We don't want to talk about them or even think about them, but things can happen. We want to make sure that you're cared for appropriately. You want to make sure that you have the right monitoring equipment such as EKG, blood pressure cuff, pulse oximetry, the ability to monitor or look at CO2 is always important. And obviously the other monitor that's always important is obviously the physician providing you the care, the anesthesiologist. Again, they have the ability and the skill set to make sure you're anesthetized, the right level in terms of the care uh, for the procedure as well as for the surgeon. And then most importantly, postoperatively, is how is that going to be managed in terms of your recovery? Will you have any problems postoperatively with respect to nausea, vomiting, pain, things like that? Will you be street ready in a short period of time? And anesthesiologists, we do this all the time. And obviously, in our particular setting, we always give you a call uh, the next day to make sure you're okay. And obviously, every patient, if they're treated by me, has my cell phone. They talk to me beforehand. They talk to me afterwards and any other time they need me. Again, these are kind of the equipment that we use, Ambu bags, laryngoscope, endotracheal tube. But you don't want to have this. You don't want to know about this. This is when things go bad. And remember, things can go bad in an office fairly quickly. You want to have the right individual caring for you. We look forward to taking care of you in an office-based sedation soon. Thanks for watching.